You want to install a lot, the updates and the add-on all in one step in an easy to use interface. I got just the thing for you, the new Allot installer that I've written. Now before we get into this video, I have to tell you that the version where I'm showing you is the beta version as well as a pre-release version. It may differ a little bit if you're watching this video after that app product is actually launched. So what you're going to download from one of the Allot pages most likely will be an allotinstaller.zip. It may also be included inside of the main Allot file that you download for the first time. But for this instance, what we're going to do is we're going to extract this to, like, I've made it a lot demo folder here. We're going to extract it here. You don't want to put this in a game folder or anything. Just put it in, like, documents in its own folder or whatever. So we got this here. What we're going to do is we're going to run a lot installer. Do not run a lot add-on builder. That's just the compatibility shim for our older users. My interface is red because I'm in beta mode. Um, your, ver your version will probably be um, blue, which is normal mode. So what we're going to do here first is we're going to go to settings and we're going to switch off the files for the games that we don't want to build for right now. In this case, I'm going to do Mass Effect 2. So we're going to uncheck both of these. So it's only going to show Mass Effect 2 files. You can tell by these, this little indicator right here. So as you can see in this interface, it says there's two files that are required, main and update. These other files are what they call the add-on files, which are by other developers. So Elise, Helios, Jim Bob Jeffers, Dark Falcon, uh, they have these mods that are not included inside of the main lot file, but Creeper Lava, the developer of this mod, has cherry picked the best textures out of these mods and applied them to the game to enhance a lot so you get an even better looking game while maintaining full compatibility with a lot. So what you're gonna wanna do here first is you're gonna wanna go into settings. And this is only if you have a vanilla game you haven't modified anything yet that includes installing any tech, uh, DLC mods there'll be some backup buttons right here you'll click backup on your game or games and you'll set a backup location it'll make a big copy this makes it so much easier if anything goes wrong and you know like something fails during the install your game is completely hosed um, if you want to go into beta mode you can go down here into MISC settings and do beta mode you, what you'll also want to do is is if you don't have your downloads folder for like Chrome set to the default folder that Windows has it set to, you want to hit change download folder and set it to wherever Chrome downloads by default. I've had a few people download only to the desktop. What you want to do is you want to make sure this points to wherever your downloads folder is. It will make your life much easier in the next step we're about to do. So what we need to do here for the installers, we need to download these files. So we have the main file, we have the update file, and the rest of these are the lot are the add-on files. So what we're going to do here is we're going to download, uh, we're going to go download assistant, sorry. She's going to present us with this little interface, which should technically be a little wider. Um, and this sh is supposed to filter, but I this build I have, I'm showing you, does not filter. So we're going to look for ME2 files. We're going to do Mantis. And you just won't see that from my earlier take in the video. The uh, Katana, Carnifex. So these will open links to the download pages. So we want to download Weapon Mantis M92HR. Man, OneDrive has a terrible interface. Uh, Avenger Predator Mantis. So we'll hit download. So it'll be downloading. So we're going to want to go to Mantis 1.5. So we're gonna hit import while this is, after this is done. So then now we have a green check mark, which means that one's done. Okay. So we're gonna go over here, and we need to do. We're just gonna do download. I'm pretty sure all of these are included in this because this is the allot add-on folder. So I'm just gonna download all of these. Just right-click and hit download, download, download. Hopefully next or. Er, Hopefully, Mega isn't like, oh, you've hit your download limit. So as you can see over here, it's like downloading into my downloads folder. Uh, these are some files. I'll show you how they work later. So we'll just hit import. Five files were imported. Close that. Oh, five files were imported. And then another stack. Okay, so now we have these all downloaded. I have some more of these already downloaded. And I'll show you, for example... 
So these are some I did in an earlier take of this video. What you can also do is, I'm just gonna drag these onto the interface. Okay, so some of those folders were moved. So those files were moved, sorry. So we're just going to do these ones. So you can also drag the files onto the interface and they'll be there. So we're gonna do holograms, which conveniently is missing. Anyways, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep downloading until all these files are here. I'm gonna do save the lot for ME2 main file last because there's two different versions in the current uh, 2017 release that you may encounter. So we're gonna move these two onto here. Somehow I downloaded all these, yet I still missed <laughs> some of them. I must not have moved all the files that I needed. So actually, we have to download a few of these. Download, download, so HD M8 Avenger. You wanna make sure you have the same file name that's listed here, or in the download assistant. Holograms, H, or what is this, this is Weapon M8 Avenger. And you might be wondering, well, why the hell do I have to do all of this? That's interesting, this doesn't go to the right. Oh boy, which one of these is it? Weapon. God, I hate this interface. How can I change this? Ah, oh, thank God. Oh, that's so much easier. Weapon M8 Avenger HD. Yeah, sorry, but you know, OneDrive has a terrible default view option. So we're gonna download that. We're gonna go back into Assistant. I'm gonna import that. All right, that one's in. This is a bit tedious, and yes, there's there's not really any way to do it. These files are not in the main file, so this is mem, as that one says mem. This is me2, because there's one that's also for me3. And we have elusive man complexion tweak. Files. And so these files are, the textures out of them are cherry picked. Not every texture in these mods will be used because they may have some sort of overlap with one that may have been better from another mod. Okay, so we're gonna import these. All right, so we got all of those. So we also need the update, which I have somewhere. I have a lot of windows. Okay, close that, I didn't want that open. So we have a lot for me to update. You're just gonna drag that onto the interface, it'll import. So inside, uh, for the 2017 release of a lot, you have two versions. You can download the one from Nexus, which comes in a 7z file. And there's also a torrent version, which when torrent is downloaded, gives you essentially the inside of, you know, the 7z file. You can do both, you can do one of two things here. You can open up the torrent, of course the file's gone. You know, why I'm shooting a video. Okay, so pretending that actually worked, you could open the torrent file folder and take the allot me2 of mem and just drop it onto the interface. But that's not what we're doing here. We're going to drag the allot file directly onto the interface. Okay, everything's imported. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to install because we already have a rack up. So it's going to extract the file, and once this is done, it will um, move that back out properly. Well, that extracted really fast. So once this is done, your textures will be ready to install. You can just hit install now. 
and then we can just maximize for a nice clean view of our background here. This will take a uh, probably well, I'm on a hard drive, so this will probably take an hour. Um, if you have it on SSD, this will probably be like 15, 20 minutes for the entire thing because it's installing a lot of stuff. But that's really all there is to it. Once you're, if you have to restore your game, you can just go into the menu, which I can't access right now, and you'll hit restore, and your game will be back to stock. Then you can install your your mods and then install your textures. Uh, once this process is done, do not install any DLC mods or mods that replace or modify or override, I should say, the PCC or UPK files in the game. Um, doing so will have the pointers to the textures in those files point to invalid. As soon as that file loads, your game will crash. And we're, the first thing we're going to tell you is, when did you install these mods? You'll be like, oh, I installed them after. And we're going to be like, well, you're going to have to restore your entire game. And so just save yourself a bunch of time. Do not install mods after this unless they are texture mods specifically. So after we've installed a lot or technically before, you can do this then too. You, there are some alternate textures you can apply if you want. These are completely optional. So, for example, we have change the R's face to layer the shadow broker. Uh, we can have the vanilla texture background. These are all files I downloaded off the Allot page for Mass Effect 2. So we'll take um, these three, which I know for a fact apply to Mass Effect 2. We'll drop them onto here. We'll say, hey, this applies to 2. This applies to 2. This applies to Mass Effect 2. So if we look down here, we can see there's three user files. All we have to do now is press install, and those textures will be included in either the main installation or the. It'll give you a little pop up saying, Do you want to build the add on or user files or both? If you've already installed a lot and the add on, you can just choose user files and add those, and it'll install those. Those are completely optional. Anyways, that's all I had to say. We're at 11 minutes. I'll see you guys next time.